In this TI hex assembly tutorial for the TI 83 and 84 calculators, I'm not going to show you much of how to do it in this first tutorial. I'm just going to show you how to write the programs and compile them on the calculator. You can, you don't need to download anything because really if you have a TI 83, um, even as early as version like 1, um, they all come with this command. Whoops, whoops. You might have seen it yourself. Um, ASM, ASM Comp, and ASM PRGM. We're going to be using all three of these. So, the write your program, um, I'm going to show you how to write them and compile them. I would actually suggest not to write them directly on your calculator, and if you do, click memory, which is second and the plus sign and then go to memory management and click all and basically go to it's not showing any programs but go to all your programs and press the enter key that will push the star by it right here and that star means it's archived it's it's stored in your internal memory and not your RAM because if you accidentally mess up on a program written on your calculator it will crash your calculator you have to take out the battery put it back in and you'll lose everything stored in RAM so if you store your programs in your internal memory you won't have that problem what you could also do is download TI program editor or if you're using Linux I'll put the link to the TI basic compiler which you can use to write these programs on your computer and then move them to the calculator so what you want to do is you want to um, click program and go over to new I suggest doing this start the name of all your programs with a this symbol right here which is right above the three um, and you'll see why later but I'm just going to name this program hi h i so always start the, the name of your program with that symbol right there it's not required but I suggest doing it and you'll see why so hi and then when you start a program you want to click second and then catalog and then you're going to go down to ASM PRGM and ASM PRGM um, needs to be the heading of all your hex assembly programs um, and now you can start writing um, I'm going to write something right here I'm not going to really explain it right now it may seem hard but once you understand it the hardest part is just keeping track of what everything does E F two A four five E F two E four five you can write this yourself to test it out C nine four eight six nine two one zero zero. This is just a example program right here. Um two one nine F ninety blah 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 blah. It looks alright except up here I wrote that should be 0A and then 2E, yes. 0A, 2E, 4, 5, blah, 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 C9. So this is an example program. You can write this if you want. I'll put it in the description. Um, so to debug our program, let's hit second and mode, which is quit. Um, we still have the program right there, see? To debug it, we click second catalog and go down to ASM. And we can debug it without compiling it go to ASM and then put your program after it like that um, and then press enter and it's going to say hi done um, so that's how you can debug your program and to compile it you're going to click second catalog go down to ASM comp and then program hi and then put a comma and then put the same name of your program but this time remove the little symbol click delete and then it'll say done and as you can see you'll have two of them now one has the symbol before it, and one has the no symbol and you can't edit the one without the symbol because it's compiled so that's the reason we put the symbol before it is because when you compile it they can't have the same names um, so you put that symbol before it I just do that to represent that that's the source code and then the compiled one won't have that symbol and after you compile the program you still have to put ASM before it to run it because ASM says it's an assembly program and not a 
not a um, TI basic program so you can still run it like that if you try to run it just without that you're going to get the syntax error because you know it thinks I guess that this tries to run it as a TI basic program and it fails to um, so yeah that's how you write programs and how you compile them um, I'll be explaining this in a bit more in future videos